Cool, look at this, it's got hydraulics on it. Oh, hey guys, Alex here. And I was looking at this uh, Jesse James uh, 1954 uh, Chevy. It's, I think it's like one six scale, it's huge. Look at this, this thing's awesome. Got engine sounds in it. It's got Jesse James talking. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I, I want a bad car like that too. But this, this video was made a long time ago, and I know these Jesse James RC cars go out really fast. So uh, let's go ahead and search the uh, the Ebays, and also, if I have to, I'll check out the Craigslist. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I did find a listing for this uh, Jesse James RC 1954 uh, Chevy, um, and it looks to be in really good shape. Oh, look at these pictures. Look at that. Very good shape. And also, it's got the remote with it, too. That, that's pretty rare when you find one of these rare RC cars and it has the remote still with it. It even has the instruction manual. That's cool if you're a collector. Um, but then I saw the price. It's it's $61 right now, and it's on a bid. So this can go even higher. And there's still 12 hours left in this bidding, so this can get even higher. And if you look at the shipping cost, it's $60. So this is already $120, and it can only get even higher than this. If it goes even higher, I might just try the uh, might just try the Craigslist guys. All right, guys. So the eBay has failed me, and you're not gonna believe this, but I found a listing for this Jesse James RC car on the Craigslist. Craigslist indicates that it's a local thing, and that's crazy. Finding someone in your area selling this, the same car that you've been looking for. Um, it's not that local, apparently, though. It's called Palm Coast. That's the name of the city. I've I think I've seen that before on the way to uh, to Jacksonville. I forgot how far down the down the highway it is though. But look at this, look at this car. This one looks to be in pretty good shape too. And see that the uh, the hood opens up, the uh, the driver door opens up, probably the passenger door too. Yeah, passenger side probably does. I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah, it does. It does. Oh, there's bananas. But. Yeah, look at it. Even has a remote, so I can make the uh, the engine sounds. I can make Jesse James talk. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna message this guy because he says uh, it's fifty dollars. Price is firm, so I'm gonna go there and ask him if he'll sell it for five dollars. No, just kidding. I'll I'll pay the fifty dollars because I do want this uh, this rare RC car. I just gotta find out where Palm Coast is. If it's more than like an hour away, I don't, I don't know. Because if you factor in the gas, driving for an hour, back and forth, that would be another $20, $20 $30, I think. Something like that, because my car is a gas guzzler. All right, so this guy wants to meet. I told him in a public place we're going to meet, because I've, I've heard many stories about Craigslist people. So I'm going to meet in a public place. So let's, uh, let's type in this address. I believe it's a McDonald's he, uh, he wants to meet at. So let's see, it's 2 Old Kings Road. Palm Coast. I think it's right here. Let's see. I want to make sure it, it is a McDonald's. Let's see the uh, the street view here. Google it. That looks like McDonald's to me. Okay, let's get the directions to this place and see how far it is. Directions. Okay. So. Let's see how far this bad boy is. Um, ooh, it's an hour and 28 minutes. You know what? I, I do want the car. So I am going to make this journey. And you know what? Since I'm going to be out in this place called Palm Coast, I, I might as well do some sightseeing, maybe. Um, I can see what they have in uh, Palm Coast, so I'm not just driving up there for an RC car. Things to do in Palm Coast. Whoa. Things to do, I Palm Coast. Well, I am Palm, so. All right. Palm Coast is a city in Flagler County. Yeah, it's right there by the uh, by the ocean. Yeah, this place got nailed by the hurricane. Uh, so let's see here. Things to do in Palm Coast. You've made it here, now it's time to explore. Uh, didn't, 
I want to see a list of things to do in Palm Coast. I was checking this one out earlier. I can see dolphins. Although I don't think my uh, that Jesse James RC car can go underwater. Down on the farm. Ride the trails. Ooh, I, I want to do a trail. This place looks cool. What is that? Is it Ride the Trails? Tropical Kayak. No. Princess Place Reserve. Preserve. What do we got here? Oh, that's pretty. 5.2 miles. So here's a little history of it. By 1886, it passed into the hands of Henry Cutting, who constructed a Adirondack-style hunting lodge on the shores of Montanza's River. Maybe... Maybe I'll hit this place up, the Princess Place Preserve. So that way I'm not just going, you know, to Palm Coast for that RC car. That's Yeehaw! All right, guys, Palm Coast. Here we come. Look at that guys, it's starting to rain. I love it. I love my free car washes, guys. So, um, I'm getting onto I-4, and I'm gonna take I-4 all the way up to uh, Palm Coast. 30 miles. 30 miles on I-4. And I don't mind I-4 when I'm driving down the driving down the Space Coast, but it's not as busy as I-4 in the middle of Orlando. But anyways, the, the guy did message me back. He said that he's going to meet me at McDonald's. I'm running a little behind, so uh, I, I made sure I let him know I'm gonna be running behind, because I don't want him to leave when he doesn't see me there at the appointed hour. Anyways, I brought a um, a 9.6V battery. It's one of these skinny types, like a, like a cartridge. And um, I'm gonna buy the car regardless because I'm not driving with 90 minutes up there not buying anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna just test drive it though, anyways. And I think the uh, the remote uses six AA batteries. I brought some six AA batteries too. A lot of people here, but no one's quite here yet. You like it? No. <laughs> Don't ask me again. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Hey guys, I got my 54 Chevy RC Jesse James. And yeah, there's the McDonald's roof. This is awesome. Doors open? Kind of. I'll figure it out. Totally worth it. Guy was really nice too. Alright guys, my very first Craigslist transaction. And uh, it was McDonald's, so I, I didn't really fear for my life. And the guy was super duper nice. Here's the remote, and uh, I do have my screwdriver in my backpack. But he showed me uh, that there was some uh, battery acid damage, that's fine. Because I can probably find this remote on eBay or something. Uh, fact is, this one still might even work too. Now this car is huge, it's one six scale. Like I couldn't even fit it into my my passenger seat here. So I might have to put it back in the trunk, but I just wanna show it to you real quick. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, we are gonna test drive this by the way. But I did bring my battery as I was talking about. Look at that, there's the engine inside. <laughs> God, this thing's heavy. All right guys, I'm gonna go to this place called uh, Princess Place Preserve or whatever it's called and uh, Maybe take this bad boy on one of their uh, trails, maybe. It's not made for the trail riding, but uh, I'm gonna go out there. At least uh, get some footage of the park itself. Not much, though. So let's get out of McDonald's. I feel my, my calorie intake just exploding just by smelling the french fries right now. In 400 feet, turn left onto Palm Coast Parkway Northeast. Man, check out that freaking ominous cloud. North Old Kings Road. See that? Holy cow. It's coming my way. Gotta film my stuff before it gets here. There is like nothing on this road right now. But yeah, there is a uh, a preserve around here. I want to go there. Get my RC car out there. 
and uh, try to get out before the rain gets here. Right onto Princess Place Road. All right, here's the Princess Place. You know, I am a Prince of Macedon. I'm not really a Princess of Macedon, but let's do it. Oh, I should have drifted into there. Ooh, a dirt road. Ooh. Continue on Princess Place Road for one and a half miles. Oh, I can totally use this place for a future project. This is awesome. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah, I was gonna film my uh, RC car here somewhere. Hopefully not on the dirt, though. But if I have to, I will. Let's see what's around the river bend. Just around the remote control bend. Okay, this is pretty cool, guys. If it rains on me, it's gonna suck, though, but this dirt will become mud. All right, so I don't think the remote works. There's no light on this, but um, I wasn't expecting it to work. Now I'm gonna put this in. This is the battery. I just wanna make sure though. It might be working, I just didn't know. There's so much battery acid inside that it's not gonna work. And I can't show you guys around. It's raining now. Unfortunately. Look how wet it is right now, guys. Sorry, it's kind of a bust for me too, but yeah, it's really pretty though. It's just raining hardcore. So we're going to go back to Orlando now. By we, I mean myself. Yeah, this place is, uh, it's less picturesque now, unless you're into that whole uh, Seattle looking thing. But man, this is a really pretty road. Uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> hey guys, back in Orlando. And uh, this is my Jesse James 54 Chevy. And it is freaking huge. So the remote doesn't work, but that's okay. I'll, I'll just find one online. I'm sure people will sell these at some point on eBay, or maybe the Craigslist. Uh, but I'm very happy with this uh, car. My initial plan was just to film it and then, and then sell it, but this car is so heavy and so big that it wouldn't be worth the cost. No one's gonna pay for the shipping on this thing, so I'll probably just keep it. And it's cheap enough that it's fine. I didn't really you know, spend too much money buying this. Well, maybe on gas, but so look at this. That's the engine here. It's pretty cool. The back, the trunk opens up to you. Well, it's kind of wet there for some reason. I don't know if you can see the inside. Let me lift it up a little bit. Oh, come on. That's what the trunk space looks like. Why is it wet? Oops. <laughs> I forgot it was a low rider. But anyways, uh, this door opens the passenger door. I think it's kind of weird. There's no handle on it, so I, I just I don't want to just rip it off. Trust me, it does open though. I think the driver's side might be a little bit easier. It's pretty big. And I'll probably, I'm going to put my GoPro in there so you can see what it looks like inside. So here is the inside. 
pretty cool looking. There's the Jesse James logo. It's a very cool stuff, guys. So yeah, there's there's a ton of uh, a ton of these uh, '54 Chevy videos on YouTube. The ones made by uh, Jesse James. But I, I wanted my own. Get my own video for it.